Lay. Zer. Yeah. Yeah. Kane is in the building. Yeah. Let's go. Alright, already the show goes on all night. Till uh. the morning we dream so long. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever wonder when they would see the sun? Just remember when it comes to the show. Hey Grayson, today is August 31st, 2012. I'm David. And I'm Allison. Welcome back to Ram TV. We hope you're having a great day so far. Don't forget seniors. Remember, senior dues are $100 and can be paid by going online to www.gabelfour.com or by seeing Ms. Rowe in her classroom before or after school. And if you want an ad in the yearbook, make sure you've turned it in by September 14th. Also, driver's education classes are starting soon. If you're interested, the cost is $345. You can sign up in the community school office. In other news, students, the seniors would really appreciate it if everyone could become more involved at all the games. Please stand up, cheer, be excited, and show off your school spirit. Spanish Club's first meeting in elections are Tuesday, September 11th at 2.30 in Ms. T's room, A1.239. And students, don't forget to get your Waffle House waffle during lunch. Next week, they will be sold on Tuesday because of the long weekend. Now here's to a commercial break and sports. Summer's gone to soon. Hello and welcome back to the random fact of the day. I hope everyone enjoyed their lunch because you're about to learn about a little something something about food. Did you know that your tongue tastes bitter things with the taste buds towards the back of your mouth? Salty and pungent flavors are tasted in the middle and sweet flavors at the very tip of the tongue. Bet you didn't know that one. That was today's random fact of the day. Now back to our anchors. <laughs> guys, welcome back to another edition of the show. I'm China And I'm Erica. Now, now let's, let's talk, talk sports. sports. Today we have a special guest, Wayne Gallman from the Varsity Football Team. He's going to be hanging out with us for a little bit. They have a home game today against Miami Central at 7.30 p.m. We hope to see all of you guys there to support your team. Because remember, they work hard to make you guys proud. Right, Wayne? Yeah, you're right. So how's it going today, Wayne? It's going pretty good. Are you excited for the game tonight? Yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. What do you do to prepare for it? Uh, I just, well, for me, I just be chilling out and listening to music, talking to a couple people, you know. That's it. <laughs> Are you expecting another win at the state level? Yeah, as long as we keep working hard, we'll get there. Do you already know where you want to go to college? Um, yeah, I'm committed to uh, Clemson University. Really? Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, thanks, Wayne. Thanks for being with us today. Uh, you're welcome. Now let's take a look at what the softball players are up to. If you guys could introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Rachel C. Schultz, and I'm a senior. I'm Brianna Etheridge, and I'm a junior. I'm Amber Miller, and I'm a senior. I'm Taylor Denton, and I'm a senior. All right, so can you guys tell us what you do to warm up for the game or in the beginning of the game? Um, we just mentally prepare ourselves and tell ourselves that no competition is too much to handle. Um, we believe in ourselves and cheer on our teammates more than anything. Um, we both physically get prepared and mentally physically through taking ground balls and hitting in the cages and then mentally just preparing ourselves for what's about to happen. <laughs> All right, if you guys could show us your little huddle or cheer, what you guys do before the game. Okay. All right, guys, that's it for today. Make sure to make it out to their home game next Thursday as they take on the Shiloh Generals. There will be a three-on-three -three volleyball tournament Friday, September 14th. The cost is $10 per player and you must have one girl per team. That might be something we'd be interested in. I know. Hmm. Sign up on GraysonVolleyball.com and see Coach Foltz in room 1.523 with any questions. Speaking of volleyball, the ninth grade Lady Rams defeated Lanier High School Wednesday night. Way to go, Rams! JV and ninth grade volleyball teams will be at Collins Hill next Wednesday starting at 5 o'clock. Varsity Volleyball will be at home versus South Gwinnett and Monroe Thursday night also at 5 o'clock. Come on Lady Rams, let's bring home another win. That's it for today. Now for Chisa with the weather. Oh, what up Grayson? I'm Chisa the Gray. Sadly, it's that time of year again. Her tropical storm and hurricane season. If you haven't been paying any attention to the news, you have heard of Tropical Storm Isaac. A tropical storm is a tropical cyclone that has the wind speeds of 39 miles per hour and 73 miles per hour. 
While it has the same shape as a hurricane, it does not have the eyes of a hurricane. Isaac has affected the southeast corner of Louisiana the worst, right around New Orleans where Hurricane Katrina hit back in 2005. Now to our local weather. Today weather will be scattered thunderstorm with a high of 88 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. There is also a 30% chance of rain. The kickoff temperature at Grayson Stadium will be 80 degrees. So if you're planning on going to a game, make sure to bring an umbrella with you. Saturday, there is a 30% chance of thunderstorm in the p.m. The high will be 9 degrees with the low of 7 degrees. Sunday, there is a 40% chance of thunderstorm with the high of 88 degrees and the low of 70 degrees. Labor Day, the high will be 87 degrees with the low of 70 degrees, and there is a 40% chance of rain. Now, back to Allison and David with a closing announcement. Thanks for that weather report, Jesus. Hey, Allison, have you ever shopped at Urban Outfitters before? Yeah, I have. It's really nice in there. Why? Well, I don't know if it's so nice anymore. They're, they're selling these new t-shirts with slogans such as, I vote for vodka, USA drinking team, and one shirt that has blurry letters spelling out, I drink, you're cute. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. That's crazy. I heard that one out of every five teenagers either drinks, uses drugs, or smokes during school hours. Those shirts are really not sending the right message. You no, know, you're right, Allison. So students, make sure that you're not a statistic. Make the right decision. Well, that concludes this edition of Ram TV. We hope you've been informed and entertained by our show. We want to hear from you guys, too. If you have ideas on how to make our show better, or something that you'd like to see on our show in the future, just write me a note and find me in the hallway. Well, that's all we have for you today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And remember, everybody, keep it 300. What up, Grayson? It's a segment now on the stuff I don't like. YOLO. I hate YOLO. I hate everybody saying YOLO. I hate the saying YOLO. I hate how people use YOLO. It's not even a bad thing. It's just how people use it. YOLO, you only live once. I know you heard it before. But people use it to excuse to do dumb things like, hey, let's go do illegal things. YOLO. Let's go rob a bank. YOLO. That's not why you use it. You use it to like express yourself. Like, hey, I want to ask this girl out, but I'm scared. Hey, do it. YOLO. Easy. So don't use it in the wrong context. Don't say nothing stupid and stay legal. Oh. Play. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Kane is in the building. Who won the 2012 Super Bowl? Uh, the New York Giants. Uh, the Saints? Do you know what team the Dwight Howard just got traded to? Oh, uh, yeah, the Lakers. Thank you. Dolphins, I don't know. These are All right, Dolphins. that's a good guess. You want to take one? Uh, Lakers. Lakers. Yeah. Awesome! <laughs>